You guys, this is the reality of Florida. Every time I walk outside, my camera gets super blurry from the humidity. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I wanted to start off this vlog by saying, if you guys didn't see my last vlog, I talked about doing a Q&A about living in Miami. And I am gonna do one of those for you guys because a lot of you said that you'd be interested. So please leave comments below on the bottom of this video of questions you have about living in Miami or moving to Miami or anything really Miami related because I'm gonna do a completely separate Q&A dedicated video so I just wanted to say that before I forget but yeah so welcome back to the vlog right now it's Tuesday and it's 2 p.m. and I'm kind of just getting my day really started right now so that's why I finally just picked up the camera but I'm about to do a mobile order for Starbucks and get some coffee because I can't really function without coffee and I don't have any at home because the Publix that I go to for my at-home Starbucks coffee like the one in the bottle they've been out and I keep going there like every Every day I keep checking at Publix and they have been out of that one so I've just been going to Starbucks but I'm kind of sick of my drinks at Starbucks right now I do the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with extra sweet cream because I like it really light and yesterday I tried the salted caramel cold brew and I didn't like it so I'm waiting for pumpkin cream cold brew if you guys watched my vlogs last fall you know like how obsessing with pumpkin cream cold brew by far my favorite drink and I asked them the last time I went in there I said when are you guys getting pumpkin cream cold brew he said probably the end of August so I'm just waiting on that to drop it's funny because I'm talking about my coffee like it's such a big deal but if you watch my videos you know like getting coffee is like my the highlight of my day I absolutely love coffee shops they give me such good vibes good energy I just Back, like back in college and everything like going to a coffee shop and like getting work done or going to a coffee shop and like going on a like a girl date because I was in a sorority so we used to do like dates with like other members like just getting coffee and chatting like I just have such good vibes around coffee and coffee shops it's not even just like the coffee itself it's like going to the coffee shop I just <laughs> I don't know there's my rant about coffee shops but um yeah okay so let me place this mobile order <laughs> Starbucks and today I got the vanilla sweet cream cold brew with extra sweet cream and the vanilla cold foam on top it's kind of a lot but the cold foam just like adds a little extra oomph to it and I feel like it's just creamier with it so and I did ask them again about the pumpkin cream cold brew and she said she thinks it's like early September and that they're coming out with more flavors as well but my camera is about to die and I only have one battery for this camera which I think I should get a second one since I'm vlogging a lot more now. I'm probably going to have to get a second battery so that when this happens I have another one charged because I want to show you guys more of what I'm about to go do but my camera unfortunately it's blinking. But right now I'm actually just going to go to Goodwill and I have some stuff that I want to drop off at Goodwill like home things because I've been switching some things out. If you guys watch my other video I was talking about how I like change up my decorations and I got a few new home things so I'm going to donate the rest of it to Goodwill and I just have it right here in my back seat in that blue hamper. It's filled with stuff. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill, drop off that stuff. Hey guys, so I'm back home right now and I'm freezing so I'm in this blanket um but i'm about to get ready to get some drinks with a friend of mine and i'm gonna put on like a cute outfit just to dress up and kind of like i don't know be fun i feel like i'm always in active wear clothes so 
I just like think I should put on something cuter. So I got my Lululemon package in the mail and I talked about these in another vlog, but I started weightlifting a lot more. So I bought some training gloves to wear while I work out. These are the push to limit training gloves and this is what they look like. They have a little padding like right where your fingers are and I got the size extra small slash small and it fits my hand perfectly. So if you have like my size hand, I don't know if you can tell. But <laughs> yeah, I got these and they fit me perfect. I really love working out with these on. It doesn't hurt when you grab weights and stuff. And then I also picked up this cool Racerback short Nulu tank. So I have a Lululemon collection video up. If you watch that, I have about like 10 of these cool Racerback tanks, but they recently came out with the short ones. So they're just a little bit shorter. And I saw this cocoa brown color. I thought it was really pretty. So I decided to buy this. And I'm really loving the short version. It kind of just hits you in a more flattering way. So I got a size two in this one. I wanted to show you guys how the cool Racerback tank looks on and where it hits me. So it's like a little bit below my belly button. So it's not really like a crop top, but it definitely is a lot shorter than the original cool Racerback tank, which comes down to like here on me if I pull it down. But this is what it looks like. And I really like the color of this. Like this brown color is just... I'm living for it. I think it's really cute. And like I said, I feel like it looks good with blonde hair. So I'm really happy with this top. This is my second one of the cool Racerback short top. By the way, while I'm standing here, I wanted to tell you guys I'm selling a whole bunch of bathing suits on Poshmark. I've had so many bikinis and I just needed to get rid of some because I found a new swimwear brand that I love, which is One One Swimwear. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just really love their bikinis and I decided I wanna like downsize all my bikinis. So I just went through a whole bunch last night and these are the ones I'm gonna be listing on my Poshmark. Some are really good brands like Boutine LA, other are like Shein and Zaffle. So yeah, take a look on my Poshmark. It's Meg do snap, but I'll have it linked down below in the description so you guys can go check it out and everything I priced pretty reasonably so This is the outfit I threw on dress is from Aritzia. It's the tiny dress I think it's Wilfred free and then a little white bag. This is from Zaffle and Whenever I don't know what to wear for shoes. I always just put on sneakers. So these are my adidas nmds yeah, That's my little outfit for tonight <laughs> It's the next day. I'm currently about to do some Poshmark orders. I recently sold some stuff on my Poshmark, so I need to print out the label. And I'm always uploading stuff on my Poshmark, so I know I already said that, but definitely check out my Poshmark. I'll have it linked below. This is where I keep my printer because I live in a studio, so everything is like tucked away. I try to make my cabinets and my counters just like really clean and simple so i get these mailers for free i don't know if you know but you can get these for free online on usps.com and you can pick all different types of mailers so i like these ones because they're just really easy to package most clothes and then i just need one piece of paper well i love getting rid of clothes if i'm not wearing it i don't want it to take up space in my closet and lately i feel like i've gotten a lot of new clothes and i'm doing some exciting collabs with some clothing brands you'll see coming up so i need more space in my closet I actually we need to go get new hangers like i like my felt hangers and i'm running out of them so i need to go to tj maxx or marshall's at some point and grab a new pack of those even though i don't really have much room in my closet i really wish I had a walk-in closet that's like something that i always said i needed is a walk-in closet but once i moved to miami i've downsized a lot of my clothes and of course i got rid of all the winter clothes which are bulky so at the time being i had a lot of room in my closet now that i've been accumulating like new clothes and stuff now it's kind of getting full so i really do need to go through more clothes and just buy more hangers so i'm probably going to do that at some point today and get some new hangers but right now I'm just cutting this label off and I'm gonna put it on the packaging. And then I have 
the clothes in the trunk of my car like in a bin because i don't like them to take up space in my closet so anything i sell i take pictures and then i have like a plastic bin and i leave it in my trunk since i don't want it to be within all my clothes that i currently wear i just like them separate just wrote up a small grocery list so while i'm out at marshall's i thought i would pick some stuff up just like produce things that i ran out of so i'm gonna do that as well i feel like i'm always going to the grocery store i want to show my little set i have on today before i head out in case i get questions on it because it's really cute this is from aloe and it's this racerback tank top ribbed with these matching biker shorts i think this is so cute and just really comfortable to run errands in um i'll have it linked down below because i don't know the exact names of it but i have a gift i had a gift card to aloe and i just bought this in another color it's like a butter yellow color but different top i love matching sets because they're just so easy to throw on and you just feel like cute effortlessly and then i have on these nike air max are these the air max ones i forget so i think that's what these ones are called I love these shoes. I swear I had these shoes before all the influencers started promoting them. I like found them and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe, like I've never seen these shoes before. No one's ever talked about these shoes. And of course now, like everyone has them, but they're so cute and very comfortable. Not good for working out in, in my opinion. I just like them to wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but I don't think they're really a great working out shoe. So I'm gonna grab my bag and get ready to go. Thank you. 